Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump on into this thing, shall we? How about old Bob Aram has finally came out? and commented on Shakur Stevenson's request to fight Oscar Valdez. Man, you know, I don't know. I guess Bob was busy putting together other fights or he might have been at the UFC. Ain't no telling what Bob Arab doing. His 91-year-old self, he act like he 19 still. <laughs> but anyway, getting on to it, Oscar Valdez has not really came out himself and said that he wants to fight Shakur Stevenson. You got a lot of people speaking for him, speculating, saying this, that, and the third, but Oscar Valdez himself has not came out and said to Shakur Stevenson that, hey, yes, I want that unification match. But Bob Aaron was actually speaking on Oscar Valdez's people saying that they want the Navarati fight next. Hmm. <laughs> and it does not surprise me whatsoever you know what I mean because you have to realize this and I, I have to speak very very candidly and I have to speak very very honestly on my own channel because so many people don't but these young up and coming fighters like Shakur Stevenson Devin Haney Tank Davis, you know, these guys, they are going to continually be ducked. Uh, Boots Ennis, um, Boo Boo Andrade, these guys are continually being ducked. Not because what the consensus say, oh, they're a horrible fighter, horrible fighter. No, they are dangerous fighters. Dangerous fighters. Dangerous fighters to uh, the uh, champions that have the belts in place. They are dangerous to the guys that don't have the belts but want the belts. When have you had it in boxing or sport history to where the guys at the bottom don't fight the champions? Don't strive to be a champion. Don't even want a belt. Well, you have that with Shakur Stevens. You have that with the Devin Haney. You have that with the Boo Boo Andrade, Demetrius Andrade. You have it with these fighters because they are too risky. And if, you know, I'm being a promoter, I don't want my promoter to fight somebody that I'm positively sure that they're going to lose to. And that's what you have. And so Oscar Valdez just skated by fighting a guy that, you know, you might as well say uh, was the only person to beat Oscar Valdez. And uh, now, you know, by him somehow venging that, but failing a drug test right before the fight and allowed to fight, where does that happen? Well, it seems as though the WBC allows it. The WBC allows a lot of crooked things to go on. You know, glove gate, taking padding out of gloves, uh, PED scandals. I mean, honestly, Marcio Mar Suleiman, man. Wow. Running the dirtiest organization that I've seen in the past 50 years, man. You know, and I get it. You know what I'm saying? You're Latinos, so you want your Latinos protected. Well, just make a separate category. Just make a category of this is Latino boxers and they box no black fighters. <laughs> you know? Do it the way it should be done. Don't do one thing and say another. Because that's all we have here is we have someone says they're going to do this and then they do an entirely different thing. Oh, we're going to make this fight happen. And don't make the fight happen. We're going to strip him because he was taking PEDs. 
and then don't take no belt from him. But allow him to fight. They don't do no black fighters like that. Black fighters can't even afford to take drugs or PEDs. Look at, uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Big Baby. <laughs> You know, that was fighting uh, Anthony Joshua. He got popped what two, three PD. <laughs> you know, his career pretty much over with. You know, and then here you got Dillian White, you know, uh, set to fight um, Tyson Fury. You know, it's just, it's crazy. You know, it's like you keep getting these. Uh, warmed over microwave fights, you know, that we already seen before, you know, Anthony Joshua, Chisora, Anthony Joshua, Tony Bello, Anthony Joshua, Dillian White, you know, it's like those same names, it's no room for nobody else to even come up, you know, it's almost like, I'm afraid to even ask, is there any real fighters out there? Because it just seems like these same fighters keep getting rehatched over and over and over again. And it makes boxing boring, you know? So anyway, um, hey, I hope Shakur Stevenson does get the fight. If not, he has a chance he can move up and uh, go for another title, you know? So, hey, but the history books is going to record all this stuff. People don't realize that, you know, they're looking at the here and now. Like, I don't care about tomorrow. No, no, no. I'm more about today. Well, you should be worried about tomorrow because today is here and now. Handle that. Tomorrow is going to handle itself by what you did today. <laughs> hey. Nobody never gave it to you like that. So anyway, with that being said, this is video. Definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website. That website is cooking, man. It's on fire. Shirts flying. I'm telling you. People copping stuff, y'all. You gonna see. All right, y'all. Peace.